All right, so we're going to be playing with the color corrector in Adobe CS6 Premiere. Adobe Premiere CS6. Here I have a series of shots I've laid down on the sequence. Hopefully you know how to do that. Now I am by no means a color correcting professional. And in fact, I have no idea what this tutorial is going to be all about. More or less, just going through these shots here and seeing if we can't uh, do some stuff with them. So one thing I like to do is duplicate duplicate the sequence, copy, duplicate, rename, rename that thing, color, color. All right. So they have a bunch of effects in the effects control panel here. And I will type in color. And we can see here auto color, broadcast, change color, change color, change bounce, bunch of stuff. But a cool one is we need the waveforms. So all these here are not what I'm looking for. Let's see here curves. C U R. Here we go. R G B curves. It's in the color correction. This one actually gives you a bunch of scales and things. Now, if you have two monitors, the extra window will show up on a monitor thing. So let's go ahead and go to the first part of the sequence, sequence here. Excuse me. Drop it on the first clip. So here is the actual tool. This is the curves. I'm used to playing in Avid, and it just makes it easier. So I'm going to bring this down a little bit because I don't really care about any of that stuff. Maybe bring this over just a tad bit. And I don't care about this thing either, so I'm going to go ahead and move that here. All right. So here we have our curves, RGB curves, output, composite, Luma. You can change that to Luma, and that's what it does. So basically, you see the grayscale. You can do a split of what you actually changed, horizontal, vertical. So if you just want to look at the video you're playing with, let's do a vertical split, show split view. So I bring down just something drastic here. Boom. You can see the difference. Okay, so this is the master quadrant here in the upper left. And this play basically gets your brightness and your contrast. Go left, it's going to blow it out. Really obnoxious. What it's that good for? Bringing up footage if it is kind of light. We do actually have, let me see here, secondary. Don't care about that at the minute. And. You can't see it in this particular window because it's not pulled up. And let me go to workspace, color correction, and see if it does it. Boomski. There we are. See, it's, eh, let's see here. Which one is the actual? Alrighty. Drop this to all scopes. Here we go. Alright, so now here we can kind of see a little bit of different stuff. Kind of bring this over here. New. Over here. And I don't really care about the sequence so much as I do the video. The video. Oh. Well, anyways, it's going to take a minute to play around. Nature, no clips. I don't know where to go. Uh, I'm not going to edit this thing at all, so just bear with me. Windows, reset workspace. We'll deal with that. Okay. So here we can see that the sky is completely blown out. And if you're still with me, awesome. 
hope not. I'm talking to myself. Bring this down here. And if you want to do broadcast safe, you can basically keep it between 0 and 100. So that would darken it up. And bring this to the right a little bit to bring the bottom down some. And spread it out in the bottom. Give them color some separation. And there we go. See the difference? This is kind of color casted out here. And this here now it's kind of a little dark. Still got some detail. If you start losing detail, you've done too much. What's the point of color correcting? Well, to make it look good. And of course, add feel and effect for whatever you're doing. Uh, let's see here. Say you wanted to uh, add some different tone to it, maybe make the greens pop. I'm just playing with a red graph here, but you can kind of see what it does. All right, so Control Z that. Put the blues and the greens and. If you really want to make it graph, you can drop an S or pop. You can drop a little S curve there. Not much. Just a little something. Boom. Boom. Really work those greens. Here we go. You can see here we're still blown out. Not too bad. That sky is pretty much way in the back. That could be the focal point. So you can almost bring it up a little bit. And you can definitely see the difference here. This is all out of focus, so that doesn't actually matter. Cool. Then you move on to the next shot. Boom. Now, it's the same area, just zoomed in a little bit, so you can have a couple options here. Copy the video effect, RGB curves. Copy. Click on this and paste them in video effects paste and there you go that way they'll be matching basically from shot to shot there you kind of see a difference if there's not much detail in this tree maybe it's a little bit too dark so I'll expand the curves again and click on that dot and they'll just delete that there. Maybe not so much. Roll back. Roll forward. Bam. Okay. And it kind of shows you up here split what it's like half half. Take off split mode. There you go. Click on this clip. And people get paid to do this all day long, every day, for movies, commercials, any video, basically. So here we are, looking at this shot, another shot, flowers and stuff. This is recorded with an Canon HG20. Kind of old school, it's got a hard drive compared to like the P2 cards and stuff today, the more advanced stuff even SSD it's got a slot for it but this records to a hard drive I'd say it's more the prosumer series it's got a really nice CMOS sensor full HD not P but I get some pretty good shots especially on a tripod alright so here we have cloud details lots of cloud details so if we do anything to this clip come over here Paste the effect. See? Ugh. Boo. Looks like junk. Crank that back up. Green doesn't need messed with. Gonna... Avid used to be alt click. You'd be able to alt click and that thing would reset. I don't know what it is here. I'm just gonna bring it back a little bit. But I'm looking at my waveforms up here. I got the 100. And to change this, don't care about the right one. Go to that. I 
You can look at all of these here. That's just your Y C there. Zero, so we can bring out the bottom a little bit more. And let's see, brought that down, right? Let's spread it out a little bit, just just a smidge here. And then we'll take this master. Not too much. It's still a nice day out. Reds. Absence of red. It gives you a little bit more blue in the sky. Go up just a little bit more. Bring the curve to the right. You can see... Ooh, no bueno there. There's some really nice tutorials on color correcting for effect and everything on Vimeo. Probably should follow them and play with them some. That's the blues there. And kind of make the blues pop. So now you see that is a difference. Uncheck split. RGB curves, click the effect on and off. You can see it's a and it takes away that color casting, that casting, that white cast, basically. Secondary color, now if you want to drop down, pick the center. Actually, I'll go ahead and if you hover over these little teardrops. Select the yellow. You can play with the yellow. And then over here, I don't have a mask on. Edging. Let's reset that to zero. So you play with the hue. Click, drag. Uh, uh, uh. Control Z, Control Z. As you can see, I have no idea what I'm doing here. But that's the whole point. You get in and you play with it. Eh, secondary. can do without it. Basically what I'm doing this clip overall is I just want to put a little acoustic track underneath it just give it some something I don't know. So I figured I'd go through the shots here and do some color correcting. See what I can come up with. See this shot here. Again, these sky parts are all blown out. So really, I'm just going to go to effects, grab RGB curves, drop it on the clip, select the clip. Where's the clip? Here's the clip. Effects control. Boom. Bring down that level to about a hundred. See if I can't separate that bottom a little bit more. Just a little bit. There we go. Maybe add a little S curve to the to the master. Not much. 
And if you tell anybody that's there, I will cut you. Just a little happy farm and just a little happy rake. A little happy rake's a little too happy. I'm gonna calm his ass down. And just drag a little happy effect. Effects control. Mm hmm And you just give a little bit of curve. Not much. Yeah. Just bring it down a little bit. Yeah. That's just bring it in. Separate it out. Okay. And just bring it down a little bit. Now you can go ahead and check the before and after. Kind of just makes it makes it pop a little bit more. Yeah, not too much more to go. Oh yeah, now you're starting to see the color casting on these shots. Like I said, they're just some random shots out on the trail, walking around. Mm-hmm. RGB curves. You just bring it on down. Hit up the control. Make it pop a little bit. Yeah. Oh yeah, that squashes it. Yeah. Yeah, see that doesn't do it any justice. Yeah. And delete that mark. Huh. Well, vertical. There we go. Hell, I don't even know how to delete these marks. But that's okay. See what that does there is maybe add a little bit of blue. No, let's take away some blue. A lot of green in this shot here. Yeah, add some yellow. Uh huh. Nope. Yeah, I don't want to do any of that. Okay, moving on. And here we go. Now this sky. So you got a lot of detail in this sky here. Wide open sky. You got a way church over here. Some houses off the horizon. Some leading lines out there to the nothingness. Effects. RGB curves. Drop it down in the clip. Play with that here. Effects control. Like I said, I want to bring it in broadcast safe colors, which is, you know, 100. That's what I was taught. It could be pointless anymore since they're not really analog. But you still want it to look good. Just use your eye, really. I want to make those details pop. Especially if you're using DSLR. You have some really good uh, sensors there. You can see all these details, but this is just a small little uh, camera here, a little H Canon HG. Nothing big, nothing crazy. Bring that in just a little bit. So you can see effect off, effect on. You don't have to do much.
Here's at the end of that road from way back. If you were to walk down that trail a little bit here, you come over to Valley and it gives you some information. Just overlooking the valley, but again, a lot of clouds in this. The line of this sign almost gets lined up with the horizon, but you have a lot of cloud details here, so you can make that pop. So, RGB curves. Now you can mask this out. You can mask this whole horizon out and just totally work on this. I've seen it done before. I don't know how to do it. I, 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 I don't know. But you learn. So maybe we want to boost this up a little bit. Nah, that won't be. Bring down that shot a little bit there. So you make them sky. Really just bring out that shot there. Here we go. It's getting towards the end, so I can kind of maybe just uh, darken them a little bit. You know, not much. Here, got this shot. Again, you got some lines here. You got these two two lines here, which are these darker spots. You can see in this this dark spot here matches up. Then you just got the bench right there. That's what you're looking at. And you got this up here, which is this top line up here. RGB curves, effects, drop, click, effects control. I'm going to kind of just bring it down a little darker. Bring the contrast down. And, yeah. There we go. Bring the master down maybe a little bit there. Just. Ooh. Yeah, no, that's no good. See that sky? How the, the blue in the sky is kind of staying blue. I want to look oversaturated, then it just looks weird. Because there's still a lot of detail going on over here. You make like a day for night looking thing. So that, that'll do in there and there. Just this shot here. And then boom. Cloudy. Alrighty. RGB curves. Drop it down. Effects control. Make sure it's in the safe zone. Bring that in a little bit. Pop that out. Yeah, yeah, there we go. Render it all up. Sequence. Render. There you go. Some crazy guy talking about color correcting.